outstanding. Good work. Thank you. Good work. Yep. Is she doing a great job with the MC yeah. today? Because y'all gotta imagine, this is a difficult job, isn't it? It's speaking to people in front of you, knowing there are people behind you, is a little bit uncomfortable. And I won't spend a long time with you today, because I was looking down the program, and you know what I figured out? I'm right between money and food. And I had five Ds that I wanted to teach today, but I was reminded of my grandfather's five Bs. Be brief, brother. Be brief. So before I jump into my message today, I do want to thank and congratulate George Brown. Because I did a little bit of research coming in. I actually did a search through the yellow pages of beauty shops and barber salons in Metro Atlanta. More than 150,000. I challenge you to find one other one doing what we're doing today. So before I say anything else about you graduates, I can't believe you're graduating, it's amazing. I remember Steven as a five-year-old football player at Tucker Football League, y'all remember that? Can't believe that was only 10 minutes ago. So before I get started, y'all give it up for George Brown. And all the rest of the heroes at home, So here's, here's a quick snapshot. I look at my week across the last couple of days. I was in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Philadelphia on last week. I'll be in Dallas, Texas this coming Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Fly out to Philly again on Monday and Tuesday and back in New York. And I just lay out my travel schedule ahead of time because when I got the request from George to come and speak for free at the barbershop, <laughs> I had a few challenges. But I realized the importance of celebrating what we celebrate today. And as I was preparing, I started thinking, what would I want to hear from me if I were you? Does that make sense? Does everybody remember what you were like when you were 17 years old? And I thought long and hard back to the days of being 17 years old on Saturday morning. What would I want to hear from anyone? You know what I came up with? Nothing. I don't want to hear anything from you, but what I needed to hear, what I needed to hear, what I needed to understand was that it was time for that transition from boys to men. Does that make sense? And that as we go through, our theme was particularly important. It said, impacting the lives and impact us all. And I was reminded of the story of a young boy and his grandmother. He came running into the house. He said, Grandmama, they were talking about me bad at school. They got... They said I was dark skinned, they said I was ugly, they said I wasn't gonna be anything. They got on me and I was crying, I was broken down. He went to grandmama and she said, come on in here to the kitchen. I wanna show you something. And she took out and put on the stove three pots of boiling water. Three pots of water. In the first pot, she put some carrots. Now how many of you cook with a stove and know what happens when you put carrots in boiling water? Who knows, what happens to carrots when you boil them? Do you know? I'm asking, this is a question. You don't know. Turns out the carrots get soft and mushy when you boil them in water. When you apply the pressure of light, they get soft. In the next pot, she put some eggs. Now, does everybody know what happens when you boil an egg in water? What happens? It gets hard. It gets callous. It gets to the place where it's tougher than it was in its original state. And in the third pot, she put a bag of tea. Now what happens when you put tea in boiling water? It feels the heat. It embraces the temperature, but changes the substance that it was put into. And that's your job, ladies and gentlemen, is to decide what kind of impact you're going to have. Are you going to let the blows and pressures of life soften you? Are you going to make, let them make you hard and callous? Or will you be the person that makes that impact that changes the world around them, even though pressures apply. Does that make sense? So five Ds. Five Ds and we're done. By the way, if you can count and you can say the letter D, you'll know when my speech is over. How many of you are looking forward to my speech being over? It's going to be over soon. First thing, if you want to have an impact in life and make something different than what has been before, you have to dream. Everybody say dream. Dream. 
Has everybody heard of a dream? You know, there was a young man that had an impact on my life. I never met him, but I heard about his dream my whole life. He said that I have a dream that in the red clay hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will sit down at the table of brotherhood. Does anybody remember that? He actually shouted out Stone Mountain, Georgia. Where are we? Now, funny thing about Stone Mountain, Georgia, how many of you grew up in Atlanta? Okay, how many of you grew up somewhere else? All right, everybody that grew up in Atlanta, raise your hands. Everybody that grew up somewhere else. Okay, so here's interesting. When I bought my first home in Tucker, Georgia, my grandmother was nervous to visit us at night. Said, Ricky, that's just too close to the mountain. The Klan is out there. She couldn't have imagined that a shop like this would be in a place like this. But over time, dreams do become reality if we do the rest of the day. So first step is a dream. Everybody say dream. dream. Now I want you to understand, your dream is not just a fantasy. It is your creator tugging on your subconscious, telling you about an impact that only you can have. No one has your dream but you. But the wealthiest place, not just in our community, but in the entire world, is a cemetery. It's where all those dreams that went on as dreams and never got fulfilled were buried to die. Second D. Everybody ready? Second D say decide. 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 Decision decide. is the most important power we have. Because when you decide, you put yourself in a position to make things happen. It turns out that successful people make quick decisions and are very slow to change them. But broke people make slow decisions and change them all the time. Now the nature of decision is you have to decide that what you want and what you will be is more important than what you want right now. I'll say it again, you gotta decide that what you want and what you'll be is bigger than what you want right now because I'm here to tell you that the moment that you set your sights on something big, on doing something good, distractions are gonna come knocking Somebody's gonna come with a party or a drink or a drug or something to take you off track from being what you're supposed to be. But the nature of the side, it's a funny thing about the side. It's one of those words that ends with I-D-E. You know what happens with words that end with I-D-E? It cuts off everything that went before them. Suicide, you are dead. Homicide, they dead. Insecticide, bugs dead. Decide, detract, distractions die. Does that make sense? So first D was dream. Second D, decide. Third D, and this is the most important, this is the most motivational thing that I'm going to say today, but I'm going to give it to you up front so that you know to expect it, discuss. See, nothing really ever changes until somebody gets mad enough to stand up and be different. See, the enemy of your success isn't failure. It's the status quo. It's just going along with the things that everybody's doing because everybody's doing them. But there was a protest back in the day. The guy said, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. And when you get mad about the things that hold us down, when you get mad about the image that they project of us, because how many of you know that people would tell you that black men are lazy? I mean, did, did, did anybody ever heard that before? That they are aggressive overly sexual, lazy, but it's not true. It's not you, it's not me, but we have to get disgusted with the society but that will continue to spend that message. Does that make sense? Right. Second thing, we gotta get disgusted with the cash flow situation in our community, yes or yes. I mean, real talk, you wanna have an impact, you need to be able to invest. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's not how much money you make, but how much you keep that's going to make an impact, is going to make a difference. It goes beyond this paycheck, but on into the next generation. So number three, you gotta get disgusted. Everybody with me? Now after dreaming, deciding, becoming disgusted, at that point you gotta do it. And you gotta do it and do it and do it until the job gets done. See, here's what's happened to many of us in society. We've grown up in a world where things have gotten instant, yes? How many of y'all saw some instant grits? Quick loans. Baked potato in five, do you know baked potato? How long does it take to bake a potato in an oven? It's an hour. It's a long process, but here's what happened. Movies and movie magic started tricking us, didn't we? 
Y'all saw the Rocky movies? Do you know that in the Rocky movie, Rocky trained for 17 minutes and fought for 42 minutes? He trained for 17 minutes and fought for 42. Now in real life, what does the life of a boxer look like? They train and train and train and train and train and train and train for a year and then fight for an hour if they're lucky. Sometimes they go to sleep early, no matter how much they train. But you gotta do it and do it and do it. When distractions come, you have to. When you don't have money, you have to. When you don't feel like it, you have to. And the thing that keeps you doing it is stoking your fire of desire. Everybody with me? Now, desire is what it, carbon is to steel. That's what Napoleon Hill said in his book, Think and Grow Rich. He said desire. And I used to try to explain desire, but when I was coaching at TFL, I found one poem that said it perfectly for me. I taught it to myself first, but I taught it to each and every one of the young men that came to me for training. Now, I taught them how to lay down a perfect form tackle. Yes, Carlos? I ran that wing tee offense and that 8 1 mirror. They always thought that Coach Richard was going to lose, but he always desired. He said, if you want a thing bad enough that you'll go out and fight for it, that you work day and night for it, that you give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, and when all that you scheme and dream is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, when you'll gladly sweat for it, fret for it, plan for it, and lose all terror of the opposition for it. Nothing can stop you from getting the thing you most want. If you go after that thing with all your capacity, your strength and sagacity, faith, hope, confidence, and strong pertinacity, when neither cold nor poverty nor drought nor sickness nor pain of body or brain can keep you from getting the thing you most wanted, and when dogged and grim you besiege and beset it, by the grace of God, you'll get it. So, Graduates, heroes, do you want to get it? Yes. Well, I'd leave my last D with you. It's number five, because in my 15 years as a professional speaker, what I have found is that my words might have an impact for a minute or an hour or a day, but there is somebody more powerful, more eloquent, and more influential speaking to you every day. Do you know who it is? It's you. And so my last D is the power of declaration. Declare. The words I am are the two most powerful words in the English language. And you can change yourself first and the world second by changing the words that you say to yourself. Are you ready to make an impact? Are you ready to change the world? Are you tired of sitting in uncomfortable plastic chairs? Stand to your feet. Understand that your mind is programmed to make whatever you say after the words I am become reality. Your mind is designed to make whatever things you say after the words I am become to reality. So repeat after me. I am powerful. I am powerful. I am successful. I am successful. I am focused. I am focused. I am a winner. I am a champion. Turn to your neighbor and say, you don't know who you standing next to. Matter of fact, turn to your other neighbor and let them know too. You don't know who you standing next to. Today, I am a dreamer. Say it. I'm a dreamer. I am decisive. I am going to do it. I'm going to do it. I am going to do it because I'm disgusted and I decide and I declare that I will impact the lives that impact us all. Give yourselves a hand.